how to uh, s do the basic solve for one of these 2D collision problems. <coughs> how are we going to figure out where the other particle ends up? Well, there are a number of ways of doing this, but, but what I'm going to demonstrate right here is using the idea that um, the change in momentum for one particle is going to be the opposite of the change in momentum for the other particle. And if the we know the two masses, then we know the ratio of the delta v's, and all we have to do is find the delta v for the upper particle, and we can find the delta v for the lower. So how do we find the delta v for the upper particle? Well, here the, there's the velocity before, the velocity after. What's delta v? It's uh, v final minus v initial. So we flip v initial around and we put it tip to tail with v final and if we add v final to negative v initial we get delta v. That's that right there. <coughs> How do we do this with a ruler so that things are really parallel? Well we're going to use a trick. If you look at this carefully you'll notice that we're making a parallelogram and parallelograms have diagonals, and the diagonals have this really cool characteristic that the diagonals of parallelograms bisect one another. This is going to allow us to make this drawing with a ruler pretty quickly and easily. So we go back to our original setup, and we just draw one of those diagonals right there. And then we can draw the other diagonal by using our ruler, finding the midpoint, because they bisect each other, and then drawing the second diagonal. In fact, we don't even have to draw the whole other second diagonal. Partly it goes off the grid here, but partly because we just want a scaling factor. So we could just say, what is, you know, half that diagonal? Because the, that arrow right there is going to represent delta v for this particle. Well, it's going to represent half of delta v, but we can scale that over. So that's half delta v. How are we solving this problem? Well, we're going to, we're basically what we're saying is, if the two masses are equal, which in this problem they are, their delta v's should be equal and opposite. So their half delta v's should also be equal and opposite. We can take this thing, flip it around, put it over here, and that should be delta v for the other particle. So to finish up, all we have to do is say, what would final velocity be if this were delta v for the second particle? We go, there's the initial velocity, and then what's the final velocity? Well, We've just drawn half of one diagonal. We bring in our ruler to draw the other diagonal. And we say, what diagonal would that delta v bisect? And so we draw this out and make sure that that delta v is bisecting this line just by, by measuring. And now we're ready to just draw in the final velocity. And we're done.